All right, y'all, so it's early morning and I'm making a morning panel run. Gotta go get the panels for the guys. I got the trailer in tow. Sometimes you just can't get everything at once. And yes, I am videoing and driving right now, but I'm driving up my driveway, so not endangering anybody else. But what I was gonna tell you is one of the hardest things getting your start as a solar company or doing a DIY job is always gonna be panels. Uh, I just got a location where I can receive panels and I have a tractor with forks and stuff but on this particular job I, I was out of town when the panels were coming in so I had to get them shipped to some people so if you can find people that can receive stuff for you at a commercial location it's gonna be a huge help to you some friends of mine own this company and they um, have always received my stuff for me now I got a tractor with forks so I can receive stuff too but this is still a huge help to be able to Take a delivery they got a commercial loading dock and they can take deliveries for me if you can find somebody to take deliveries for you man it helps especially when you're just getting your start so maybe your electrical supply house or some supply house that you deal with a lot ow just hit that so here's my pa panels gotta get the panels to the job trina 380s putting them on the trailer they're about 46 pounds a piece and there's 28 of them in there yes the trailer can take it Just rolled up on site 20 minutes early. <laughs> you put new tires on this thing? Yeah, bro. This was a cool sticker. You're missing this. Oh, 1,547 pounds of pure Trina love. Hey, tiene las instrucciones aquí para quitar todo. Look, these are, look how they're at. Look how they want you to do it. See that? Pero desde atrás? Yeah. So we're shooting YouTube videos and talking about YouTube at the same time. But I want to show you guys these cool new Iron Ridge end clamps. Now I'm not a big Iron Ridge guy, but this is the Iron Ridge version of the hidden end clamp. And uh, it cam locks. So look at that. It sits in the rail. If I want it off, I can push it, pry it up and lift it off. But it's cam locked on there. I'll show you how it goes on. A while ago, Snap and Rack came out with a hidden end clamp, and it inspired a lot of envy and covetousness in the solar industry. So here is their hidden end clamp. So you just slide it over the panel, and then you push it up, and it's got this little, see that little ridge? That's going to fit in the rail. And I just lever it up, and it pops in, and it's got the panel. Pretty dang cool. I don't know, I have to, I didn't shoot it too good. It needs to go all the way in. I'm gonna get that back so there's those teeth. It's gonna need to go all the way in like that. But I cannot do it on while holding the camera. I'm gonna show it to you. So there it is with the more meat. Anytime you're bottom clamping panels, they're gonna be way stronger. I actually saw a report from hurricane regions in the Bahamas on which racking systems failed in any bottom mount system where you were to mount through the bolt holes or the lip of the frame Hook that on up. actually survived the hurricanes so there's that new clamp pretty cool well thought probably yeah. a rock climber invented that so we got bro-in-law and elias on the job there's uncle jordan elias is holding panels up how's your job going buddy you see a lot of these uh, Trina panels, they put them in, what do you call this style? Stacking. Cassette bad. tape style? Bad style? Anyway, they include instructions on the back of the box, but this box just exploded. We yeah, we don't follow instructions. So, okay. the box is exploding. It's hey, not aggregator. going well. Yes, aggregator. Are you going to mount that box so I have someplace to run to? That high, the high dollar box? Yeah. Semen? Sorry, boss. You didn't get I don't know if the chair will hold you after you eat Little all that. Little boss was worried he wouldn't get a big enough burrito. Like you get a you see that? that burrito, dude? Kids will hate that. It was serious. You're good? You're taking half that home. Well, we just need a. Um... 75, 80%? Oh, I'd say uh, 90%. We are at 90% point completion here at this. Another quality installed by Gain Solar and Practical Preppers. 
the array is finished and it came out looking really nice. It's looking really straight and square-like. It's uh, not looking bad at all in the uh, yard. Everything, take a, give you a still there. Scott and Abraham did an excellent job getting this thing to plane out. Looks awesome. The wire management is really good. Antonio is under there doing mulch right now. And I just really, really pleased. My homeowners are pleased as well with how it turned out. So here it is. It's a 10kW. I call this the modified iron ridge. What do you think, boss? Do you like the camo clamp? Yes. Is that I your do. takeaway? Are they really called camo clamps? Camo, because it's hidden. Well. Scott likes the camo clamp. Yeah, they're very nice. There's our combiner. Now look at this pipe. It's like. Oh, over from the junkyard. Change that out later. Looks good, buddy. What's up, guys? It's Johnny V, and we're setting up for a pole here. Antonio's got her. He's got her done. However, he sees it right. Basically, we're about to pull our feeder. Lots of necessary. So Antonio's got her ready for a pull, and uh, probably gonna take that cover off. And then here's the wire. Shouldn't be that bad because there's only. If we're pulling downhill, I'm just going to feed it to him. Vasa halar! Antonio's got the big boy out. The we had to get boy. her out to make some holes in the uh, rock on the side of this house. ¿Sabes cómo quitar esto? What's that tool called? This is the. This is the. This is the, the I call it the. No, yo lo llamo. I call it the. Uh, Herramienta más peligrosa. The most dangerous tool. That's my uh, big grinder slash brick saw is what I call that. That's a brick saw. That's that brick saw right there. Comes out. She goes right back in. You don't have to take that off. So here's where the conduit comes out from the solar array. And um, kind of had a hard time getting through this cultured stone or whatever it's called but we whipped out the big hole maker yeah it's important to fear the brick saw i fear it but uh it works really good for getting through block and brick things if you're planning on doing your own install or you're messing around with micro inverters or multiple inverters you may run into a situation where you have to use a combiner panel all a combiner panel really is, is using an AC load center to con combine the output, inverter output circuits of multiple inverters or multiple strings of micro inverters. So in this situation, we have a solar array. All right, YouTubers, today is startup day. Here goes the power company heading out. I don't know if I'm supposed to show us. All right, YouTubers. So today is startup day. There goes the power company heading out. Good morning, YouTube. Johnny Valentine here with Gain Solar. It's a special day. There goes the power company heading out, and we've just started up this system. So if you've never been through a startup, they do a lot of their own. They got to do their internal checks and make sure everything's right on their side, and then they put in a generation meter. And I now have this system, this grid tied system connected, which this is a big part of the process. You don't see it's blinking orange right now because there's no communication of the Envoy. I actually had an Envoy problem. So I'm waiting on Enphase to send me another Envoy. But you can see it's pretty cloudy outside. Can't even see the sun. And I've got my main clamped I'm making 12.9 amps which is around two almost 3,000 watts at 240 volts and um, I saw the Sun come out a minute ago and really get bright on it came up went up to about 5,000 and this system is from from a technical standpoint it's complete we still need to get the monitoring situation worked out but it's nice to see a job in this situation we have a 10kw solar array 
with three strings of in-phase IQ7 Plus microinverters. So these in-phase inverters, um, you can have up to 13 of the IQ7s on a string. That's a 20, and, and then that would feed into a 20 amp breaker. I'm talking about AC because these are microinverters. So basically, I I have this uh, in, array broken up into. I think I have a string like that, another string like that, and then another string there. And it doesn't really matter if you don't have them the, uh, symmetrically, this a symmetric amount. You just can't have over 13 on a string. From underneath the array right now, you can see the end cap for the end phase. That's the end of the string. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the end of this microinverter string. I'm not using in phases fancy plugs. I'm just going into a junction box. And the junction box goes, that circuit goes into the back of this combiner box. Now this is an AC combiner panel. So when I say combiner box, I'm really just talking about a combiner panel. And then here's where that, everything's off inside here, but here's where that string comes in. And then there's my 20 amp breaker. And the same thing is happening with two more strings that are going out to different locations in the array. And those two other strings are right there. So here's a, a string of microinverters. There's a string of microinverters. And there's a string of microinverters. And they all combine onto this breaker panel. See these? Now this is very elementary for some of you guys, but these breakers bite onto this copper bus. That's line two, that's line one. They, and the breakers just bite on there. Every breaker kind of rocks in differently. This is Siemens. And then here are the AC combiner output wires. And they're going to a disconnect. See if I can show you the disconnect. Which I'll take you over there later. But that little box right there is the disconnect and that gives the utility a single point to turn off the whole solar array by cutting power to the solar array also have a little convenience outlet right here this is just for the customer to be able to uh, if he wants to tap something off of here or if I need to need it for troubleshooting it's just nice to have an outlet if you're gonna go to the trouble of running the service so this is not a mind-blowing concept but you just have to get used to the idea that Electricity is bi-directional. It kind of flows both ways. When this solar array starts making power, it's going to sync up with the AC grid. Right, grid power is coming from right there. These micros are going to sync up with what they see coming from the grid, and they're going to just pulse power back into the house. So the combiner panels just combines the circuits and provides a means for overcurrent protection for each individual microinverter circuit. Enphase also has their own pre-wired combiner panel. There's the model number. And um, this is about a $500 unit. It comes with the Envoy already installed. And I am gonna be using this thing inside the house because later the customer is gonna want, want to add batteries and this is just gonna make an easier install when we come out with the ensemble battery system. But that's the Enphase IQ3 combiner and or IQ combiner 3 which is also cool very expensive this thing is about it's about 500 bucks and if I'd have put it out here then I would have would have kind of shot myself in the foot for the batteries battery part of the job so I'm just using a regular combiner panel there which is you can buy one of these for about $50 at Home Depot this is just a Siemens 125 amp outdoor panel.